Time to play with some clay. Now, first off, I think I, the shoulder's up too high. Again, uh, with a, a true form armature, you never bend the arms at the end of the length because if you do, there's no wire in here and that uh, foam will break. It's a, it's a stiff foam, but uh, it's not indestructible. I'm going to start his face, I think today, if I can at least get the shoulders in. Uh, because I want to get the face established before I go any further with the rest of it. I've done some uh, research online for faces of modern uh, Jewish men. And I'm not certain that these are all completely Jewish men, but uh, I like the facial structure. And... Uh, I, I just don't know how else to do it except I don't have uh, access to uh, models in this area so I have to go from the web and that's what the web showed me. Now I'm just blocking in again his uh, form. I wouldn't even call it anatomy because I'm not to that point yet. I'm thinking his shoulders would be back just a little bit more. Let me get that stick and see how it looks. Yeah, see that looks more believable now. And uh, balance the thing there. I've got to arrange his arm so that uh, it matches I'm going to replace that wire with uh, my own wire Of course, this uh, probably won't be in that right, that same position, but it's close enough to give me a a feeling for it. And because by the time I put muscles on and everything else, uh, it's probably going to change the uh, position of that uh, stick. Anyway, that's uh, going to be taken away and put aside. I got a weird angle on this camera here because I had to put it on a small tripod because the uh, thing that I mount my camera onto my permanent stand is uh, missing and it's probably on it's probably on the floor someplace I just ain't looking for it right now I've got a gentleman from England who might come by and visit sometime in the next day or so. Uh, he and his wife are, I think, buying some property here in this uh, valley, or near, near here anyway. And they, he's been following me on YouTube and he wants to stop by and say hi. And uh, I think that'd be great. I'm not doing anatomically correct uh, shoulder blades right now because they're going to be covered up with clothing. 
I'm just trying to position everything so that uh, I can work out the anatomy better. Yeah, need to go just a little bit further over. I'm just uh, establishing the center line. the right distance there. Now, I think these, and I'm not certain on this, but I think these armatures are made to be either female or male. And uh, I had to cut down the hips a little bit because the pelvis was uh, a little wider than a male's uh, hips. And I think that that's for a reason. If somebody wants to do a female, uh, it's set up for that, and if you want to make it a male, you just clip off uh, that part of the uh, pelvis to make it narrower so that uh, it's more uh, matches the uh, female. And uh, I don't want to get exaggerated on the, the width of the uh, rib cage, but I think that uh, he'd be just a little more robust in his rib cage. I think the rib cage is more for a female. I'm not going to go crazy wider, but just a little wider. You still have to be an artist when you're uh, working with the uh, armature, no matter how easy it seems, you still got to interpret the anatomy correctly. Now, female's rib cage is more pointed. You know, it's, it's more of a triangle here, but a male is, is a rounder uh, form than a male, female. Yes, there are differences between male and females. It's just the way biology is. I had to adjust his neck so that his head's more in the center. It was getting off more to the left or the right of his shoulder, his right, and uh, I had to get it back. You got to be careful when you're doing something like this. You don't want it to make it look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, he, I don't think, was built like Arnold Schwarzenegger. But uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, build up the muscles the way they should be built up. And I'm not, like I said, worried about the uh, every fiber of his muscle. I'm just trying to work out the anatomy under the clothing. Mm. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to uh, overdo it. Now the parts of the muscles that are going to be showing through the clothing will be those on the upper part of his arm. The other upper under part is not. So uh, I'm just trying to get it all centered out here. And it's not quite there.
much better. Whether he was a carpenter or a stonemason, and the reason I say they're thinking that he was a stonemason is the uh, the ancient Jewish word that they, uh, the Christians, the ones who uh, interpreted the Bible, may have misunderstood the word as carpenter when it was actually meant to be mason a stone mason but that's the legal i mean or not the legal but that's the uh historical thing about it now i'm not going to worry about too much about the words connecting there because that's going to be covered with a thick robe and uh, that won't be showing much so i'm not going to overdo my thinking on that. I'm just going to block in the chest muscles right now. Because some of that's going to show through the the, the, the uh, cloth or the uh, homespun clothing that he's wearing underneath everything else. And if there's any opening to his shirt I've got to show the anatomy in underneath that I've seen paintings done oh many hundreds of years ago, maybe a thousand years ago, showing Christ being gaunt. I mean, uh, El Greco, I think, uh, painted Christ being gaunt and starving <laughs> looking. And it was a beautiful painting, but I don't think it was uh, a good representation of what he may have looked like. Now, maybe that's not what Greg El Greco was trying to do maybe what he was trying to do was just put a feeling across well when I do a bronze I want to I guess I get a bit of anal on the thing I want it to look as close to human as I can and I do a lot of analyzing I, I literally create a story in my head and uh go from there. Well, it's getting there, and uh, it, is, it looks out of proportion right now, only because I haven't got the head started yet. And once I get the head started, it'll all come into shape. And I've got to adjust the arms a little bit more too, to make it uh, match the angle of the uh, walking staff that he's carrying on his shoulder. What I'm going to do next time is start working on the uh, head, because quite honestly, it's uh, it needs to be created first to start blending in and giving personality to the uh, the whole. If you don't have that personality started, uh, all this doesn't make any sense. Um, I started the bottom part of his leg on this leg and on this leg here. I did the uh, start of the foot here and sketched in the foot over there. Um, I've got to do some research as far as uh, shoes go for that period of time. So till next time, when I can continue this, and I'll start the robe and all that stuff uh, as soon as I get the head on and get the arms sketched in a little bit more. 
I'm not overdoing the arms, uh, and the only reason I'm not is because, like I said, uh, I don't want to make them overly muscular. And uh, a lot of this that I've got started here is going to be covered up with with a heavy uh, robe that he would have had draped over his shoulders that he would wrap himself in at night, uh, I'm certain. And uh, I'm, try I'm debating right now whether to have a wrap around his head and over his shoulder. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. All right, that's going to be it for tonight, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.